Hell yeah. Banger. Banger, 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 banger. Never misses. What's happening, fam? How are you? Big old happy Monday. Happy time zones. Hope all is well. Phil Burt, what's good, my guy? Yeah, a corrupt church entity or, you know, crooked pope. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Eh, not in video games. No, never. Hope you guys had a great weekend, though, man. Welcome back. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to see you. Thank you very, very much. Ethan, what's good, my guy? Eckerd. What's up, dog? Port, what's happening, fella? Philly. What's up, my man? You ready to watch Team USA roll? <laughs> Back to slaying demons. Dude, we are going to take the mandible claw and we are going to put the Undertaker down for the count, for sure. We're going to do it. But here we are. Absolute domination. And can I just say that it's funny that I think it was just the other day, team for like uh, whoever runs like basketball ops for Team France was like, Ben Simmons isn't eligible. It's like, get out of town. Really? Never would have seen that one coming. Officially started Reverie, might have to go back and watch your book, read through discussion. Yo, Port, get ready for some great time, man. For realsies. Uh, definitely read three and nine first. If, but I mean, if you've already officially started, if you can, I would highly recommend setting aside some time and reading through three and nine. You can, you can watch our VOD. I can read it to you. Um, and I believe, uh, like the Trails Wiki has all of it. Might even be on, mm, I don't remember. Somebody else could probably tell you definitively on, on this. I, like, I know that they, they have like a digital print of it with pictures, which is pretty rad. So yeah, good times, man. Right on. You're going to be all caught up, rip roaring and ready to go. What's up, fam? How are you? Yeah, let's, uh, we're at the Burnack Plateau Fortress Exterior. We're, uh, we're ripping and rolling, I think. See if I remember how to play this. It's been a long weekend. It's been a good long weekend. The uh, the backs and forths. Yeah, okay, yeah, here we are. Up, up, and away, right? And this has it on their website with the pictures and it is... Uh, oh, okay, cool. Perfect. Oh, looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Eisen. You're the source of demon blight. Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it's spread. This is what it means to walk with the Reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. Hmm. So, Aizen, how do we open the sea gate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate, then. To the top. To the tip, tip, top. Let's see if we can't uh, shred us some mobs just to get re, re acclimated here. Is that dude holding up? A oh, he's no, he is a wall. All right. Reminded my subconscious mind this isn't Bleach when they say Eisen's name. Oh, why does he do a, a character voice in Bleach? <laughs> what is it? I don't know what it, noise that is they are making. It's just it's laughable. Something like that. Good lord. All right. Eisen is a main baddie in Bleach for a long. Oh, okay. Because I know Bleach has been around for a minute, right? Move it or die. Dude, it literally sounds like Walter's sleeping. Well, all right, catch it down. Feeling good. Feels pretty good. I want number two to be freed of not only that name, but the the collar as well. Another one kicking around? Oh, what's up, wall guy? Stupid shiny over here. We gotta go get it.
Yo, over the weekend, lots of love for Berseria. Lots of people showing tons of love, which is great. Hey, not all the ships left. A battleship. Not good. Oh yeah, and also, I thought it was really cool to run the Dawn Trail uh, benchmark. Like, that was rad. Character growing and developing over the course of a game? What, are you crazy? Yeah, come on now. There'll be none of that. The, like, not only, like, the graphical improvements for Dawn Trail that they're going to be rolling out, but just the areas that they showcased, it looks really good. But I still need to see, like, Kurthas. I need to see Kurthas with, like, the new, the new, new. But it looks super duper good. And I didn't realize the first benchmark I ran, they, by default, they have it set for, uh, like, an AMD build. So I put, I ran it again with DLSS with everything at max. Then I think it was, like, 19,800, something like that. It just, it went well, thankfully. I was like, all right, well, that's good. It makes you feel good. But it looked great. It looks super nice. This door should lead to the gate. But it looks like they've got it locked up tight. You don't have mutant hand. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> Slowly stepped aside. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain! Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgand. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty demons. Oh, for crying out loud. You want to live or die, bro? There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. The one steering. Indeed, and my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. <sighs> then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. <laughs> Dude, backhand. Maybe it's time we found out just how. Stop deep resisting. Truly goes. <laughs> Jeez, man. Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. Wait. The key is in the control room. It's through there. <sighs> One more question. Which way to the battleship? Straight ahead, up the stairs. He's gonna bounce Got his head it. off that door, but go to sleep. I mean, or that's the runner up. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Well, thank you for handling that. It just comes naturally. We need that key. But we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? <sighs> Let's start searching. Okay. Dude, Phil, like, that's, like, in all honesty, though, and it's, I know it's a 30 series, but, like, if it wasn't, you know, outputting well i would be like super duper bummed because i'm just i'm hoping that this card carries for another like decade like the 1080 ti did what's up gall how are you man happy monday it's gonna be it, like it'll be a sauna down here though it's gonna be super hot all the time it always is that's why dude i can't can't say it enough Kind of wish we had just gotten a fall or winter trails release, but you know, July 5th, we're only 81 days out. We're just about there. Especially with stuff like uh, DLSS, I think you'll be riding. Oh yeah, for sure. And that was another thing that just by default, like I said, they ran it with AMD and whatever 
like the DLSS equivalent is. So when I when I ran it with DLSS and I was just like, oh shit, man. I was like, okay. I was like, that's what's up. But yeah, I'm 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 hoping, I'm thinking that we'll be primed for for a hot minute. Oh, absolutely going strong, dude. It's been a good time. Um I don't know why I just went to attack Looks him. Like you want to die. Whoa, I thought hurricane season was over. Okay. The victory is ours. Was number two just chucking out Hadoukens? Where did you come from, mister? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there was a loud noise below. It was not a small stone. Plain paper. This kid's chucking out magic attacks with just plain white lines. Just here to take my SATs, gang. I don't know when we learned that it, supposed to be but hot joke? diggity dog. Woo. Damn, that plain paper is better though. Come on. Gremlin, what's up, dude? Push us a boulder off a ledge, huh? Wonder what that loud, yeah, exactly. The logic in games, it's like, there's a loud noise below. So, uh, yeah, that was a, a massive boulder, matter of fact. So we can go down this way. old kitty trinkets a fortress with a sea gate that blocks the entire street I haven't done one it's crazy what the Abbey can build but sir is treating me real well dude I might have you not played have it believed it possible it's no sweat if you're using Malakim as tools if Malakim can be made a blade to fell demons they can also be made a hammer to forge metal it's another way the Abbey and the kingdom show their dominance to the people it says do not resist Submit. It's disgusting is what it is. Disgusting. Agreed. All right, what was the other one that you finished? What the? <laughs> Bye. Hardly. These are deadly weapons. How do you Symphonia 2, which is generally ship? less fondly remembered by the community. Cannons. It's all good, the man. The plan is to use their gunpowder against them. So, like, no matter no matter how it's perceived by the masses, you know, it's just, did you enjoy it? Did, like, you know what I mean? I Like, at the end of the day, that's, like, that's all that matters. It is funny, though, getting into into newer franchises that have multiple entries. People are like, this one sucks, this one's ahead. great, that one like sucks. Like not. We're coming through. Well, it's like, yeah, man, hey, it all, it's just, it's always going to hit intruders? somebody differently, dude. I suppose it doesn't matter. I will cut down any who consort with demons. Face the fury of the Rangetsu sword style. Stand aside, Aizen. <sighs> no, you stay back. I'll take care of this one. Sorry. 
This prey is mine. Tell me he's gonna use this. Oh, oh shit. Get in my way and I'll kill you too. Are you mocking the Reaper? Dude, that scream she lets out, man, is intense. We're running out of time. You folks handle the ship. Careful, Rokuro. He's... I know. He's holding back. Let's go. Well, I call. I'm only about six, seven hours in. Where did you learn the Rangetsu style? I studied directly under the legged Shigure of the Abbey. Lies. <laughs> He'd never take on a student. Let me guess. He taught you a few things one time when he was super bored, and then crushed you with them. That's a yes. <laughs> Dead giveaway. He's like, all right, yeah, got me. My bad. When he draws the big one, it better be to kill God. Oh, absolutely. Like, you know, if he doesn't use it for the entire game and then he pulls it out, it's going to be against the Pope or something like that. Twin blade ignite. Oh, ignisite. Ignisite? Ignisite. Words. Is it done, Aizen? We're set. It also serves as a good signal for the Von Eltia. <sighs> well, that was about the saddest practice I've ever had. But at least I learned where he is. Yo, the Abbey's my goal now, too. Now I can do what I have to do and repay my debt at the same time. Uh, yeah, kid. Is that your doing? Unalive. Thanks for the what? support. Is there a problem? Hey, Mers, thank you for the nine months, dude. No. How are you? Thank you very, very much, man. Happy Monday. A fine companion for the Reaper. I'm liking it very much. Also, I would just like to take this opportunity. We have to find that key. To shout Let's out get to the Arcane room. Monkey, who out of the kindness of his heart was just like, can I make you something with my 3D printer? And he made me like a dock for my stream deck, but then he also included two 3D printed Monados. And like, it's like dog. It's so dope. It is so dope. Like, just this alone, it's like, bro, I want a 3D printer now, just for something like this. And he sent two because he goes, he goes, I couldn't just send you like that. And I was like, dude, what? All right. Hey, Ethan, thank you for the 95 bits, dude. Thank you very, very much, man. Appreciate it. So he sent two. And so now Youngblood has one. He's like, Dada. He goes, can I have one? I was like, yeah. He's like, of course you can. And I, he goes, what is it? I go, it's the Monado. And then Mrs. Neo goes, what is it? And Youngblood goes, Mama, it's the Mondo. And I was like, yeah, close enough. We're there. We're like, we're right on the cusp of full, full-fledged nerd mode with my baby boy. I love it. Wait, this is, no, we're going backwards, aren't we? Fine, tired from work, enjoying some beers and enjoying some Berseria content? Yo, right on. Yo, yeah, called it the Mondo. I was like, indeed. The Mondo, cool, for sure. I was like, buddy boy, you call it whatever the hell you want. Just keep him away from Xenoblade 2? Blasphemy, Gaul. I will introduce him to Xenoblade 2 if and when he wants to. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, in my opinion, is still the pinnacle of a gaming experience for me outside of trails. Bruh, he, he'll be fine. He's seen Pyra and Mithra in, in Smash. He's good. 
He's good to go. Bro, it's all about family. I'm not sure if I'm going. Yeah, do I go? I don't know. We'll find out. Bro, what's up, man? How's it going? Stupid kitty medals. Can we just jump down? Between your sword style and that giant blade you shoulder, I wonder if you've got Rangetsu blood in you. I do. What of it? Have you heard the name Kushiyamada? I hear they're smiths with some connection to House Rangetsu. Yeah, they're a distant relation, a clan of kitchen knife makers. Why, are you interested in cooking? No. I just heard they were fine blades. Just the way his eyes lit up. Would make are you interested a good in gift. cooking? Don't. Kushiyamada knives are cursed. Mm hmm? The blades themselves are excellent, but they give whoever holds one the urge to strike out at anyone and everyone. I've heard they use the blood of women they love in making their blades, but the truth is a mystery. Jesus. The clan died out after they all turned on each other. The blades were all supposed to be melted down into slag. I suppose that's why talk of them is hard to come by these days. Such is the fate of House Rangetsu. Or maybe it's just in our blood. Sounds like there's even more to your clan than the rumors say. Better than there being less, I suppose. Broke my clavicle diving for a frisbee, so I've been better, but hey, plenty of time for Twitch streams now. God damn, dude. Like, were you playing ultimate frisbee and you laid out for it? That's intense. Still rugged, though. Oof. Still don't know where I'm going. It's not here. Yeah, something, you know, respectfully never thought I'd say, like, frisbee and savage in the same sentence. No, we just came from this way. Not literally just dicking around with friends, bro. That's like, with all due respect, that's even more embarrassing. <laughs> Dude, like, please tell me, be, like, it's just, you know, like that's what happened. Tell me your friends laughed. Cause they, they must have, they had to have. If they were your real friends, they would have laughed for sure. Cause if my friends didn't laugh at me, if I was like, bro, pretty sure I just broke something. They'd be like, oh, of course. Okay, good. Par for the course. Definitely. You hurt yourself knowingly dicking around with friends doing something. They're just like, I mean, you expect me to not laugh. All right. That still sucks though, dude. Brutal. Uh, no, so I need to be going the other way. Oh, chest over there, too. Hefe, what's happening, brother? Happy Monday. How was the work day? Does this bring us up and around? Blue 42, skidoo, skidoo, hut hike. Texted them from urgent care saying they said I have ligma, which might have made it worth it. Oh, yeah. They, oh, my gosh. You're kidding me. What's ligma? <laughs> Typical just friend routine. Yeah. It was a fucking Monday. That sucks, dude. Any uh, any look poking around or any luck rather not look any luck poking around looking for a new gig. I was watching you uh, playing East last night against that boss. I was like, God damn. You handled it better than I. We're finished here. Asking around still? Go. Good. Nothing wrong with keeping your options open, man. And I don't have to tell you this, you already know your worth, man. So it's like, yeah, fuck that shit. Void ring, that's next. That boss last night would have took me 20 minutes if I realized what I had to do sooner. It's all good. It took you like 40 minutes. It's fine, maybe longer. At least I tuned in for about half an hour. Back and back and forth for like half hour. I was like, damn. 
Wait, was the treasure chest over on the other side? I gotta like go in and around. It won't open. That's a uh. real thick door too. This must be the control room, right? This I gonna say it was a good guess. dodging game. Oh yeah. We need another way in. For sure. That window would probably work if it wasn't all barred up. It looks like a standalone building. Maybe we can find something on one of the other walls. Yeah, like the vines. We're gonna climb the ivy. Will Youngblood know the truth of Trails Persona? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, he will. I mean, if my guy got into Power Rangers all on his own and has just been uh, fixated on it, I have a real good feel in that. And, you know, I may or may not have purchased him like a year or plus ago some great DBZ uh, pajamas. So obviously he's he's curious. Dead. We're finished here. Let's go. On a line for sure. Oh, so the treasure chest is down the other side. There we go. Plop. This seems to be the place. Let's split up and look for the key. We'll search the other room. Bro, everybody's eyebrows are like, everybody's just always shooting daggers. When they're talking, they're just like, ah. I'm gonna go look for a sandwich cause I'm hungry. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. found it. Not so edge lord velvet. Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The the bump is? No. I'm talking about the pain. But but I'm scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway, Boys sure are fascinated by the weirdest things. My guy called bullshit. Fascinated? <laughs> you like this, right? I... I don't really know. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it. And I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. I guess so. Do you know why the needle points north? Who figured out how to make it work? I thought that if I had one of these, maybe I could go on adventures. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. Not an order. Got that? Understood. You found it? Now we can get that gate open. We needed a compass, too. Nice work. Thank you. Hell yeah. Everything's ready. Let's used to play hockey when I was younger, but hurt my ankle pretty bad, so I had to quit, and now I'm lazy-ass playing video games all day when I'm not working. Merce, there is nothing wrong with that. Admittedly, I, I didn't grow up watching hockey. Talk. Like, my okay. mom's side of the family in Northern Mass, they watched a ton of hockey, and I could just never get into it. My old man never watched it. My dad's side of the family never watched it. And it wasn't until, you know, 20 or so years later that I started watching it. Dude, if I could go back... I would absolutely play hockey. It's an exciting sport. I dig it a bunch. Oh, this is, oh, right, 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 okay. <clears throat> oh, for real, Bruin? Wait, like a, an expansion, another expansion team? Or is it cause, cause now we got the, the Knights, the Kraken. Are they moving the, the Coyotes? Is that what I heard? Coyotes are moving? Out of Arizona. Imagine your doctor saying it's proof you're alive. Like, bro, fix my shit. Yeah, like that time the doctor told me when I blow my nose. 
and stuff comes out of my tear duct that that's normal. It's like, Doc, come on. Who are you, like, who are you, who are you trying to kid right now? It's not normal. Oh, the, yeah, okay. Moving to Utah. Right on. Dude, I want to go out to Utah to go to Snowbird Mountain. If you're familiar where that is. Hockey fan since I was like five. Uh, grew up watching national hockey. My city's team. Dope. I love watching it now, man. Do we have to like go all the way back around now? <clears throat> and like of the North American sports teams, like hockey players, in my opinion, are the most underpaid. Like they are absolute savages. Um. All right, it's open. What was that? It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! All right. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. All right. Quickly. I don't know, man. I'm pretty underpaid. Same. I'm sure a lot of us are. Snowbird is dope in like 30 minutes, yo. That's what's up. Yeah, we met we met some people at a hotel uh, like before Youngblood was born. Mrs. Neo and I used to go out to Mount Killington in Vermont for um, St. Patrick's Day weekend or week, excuse me. And uh, we met a couple and they were like, yeah, like if you got like if you're going to go somewhere, you got to go check out Snowbird Mountain in Utah. And I was like, well, that's where I want to go. The things hockey players play through is horrifying. Yeah. Absolute savagery. DC, how are you, brother? Bergie's punctured lung is one of the sickest I've seen. Yeah, that or Zdeno Chara, who is already a monster at like 38. Broken jaw, still playing in the playoffs, which, you know, obviously I feel like he was super limited, but dude had a broken jaw. Puck to the fucking face, broken jaw. And he was like, I play. Okay. Groups of casters can be a real pain in the ass in this game. And that's the thing that I'm just still not used to yet. Being able to like cycle through, like being able to use R1 to cycle through to other mobs, like just trying to keep the combo up and running. This opens the gate. One side. MT, what's yes. up? Speed The holds. gate has two giant doors <laughs> side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. Put my water in the other room. All right. I Let's thought it was Hints of Dallas device. who played through his hip muscle being partially detached from the bone of. Good lord. Got to the final map on Path of Radiance this morning. Time to go home and beat it. Let's go. You, like, and you've already beaten that up a couple of times, right, Phil? It's just your favorite, yeah? Move it or die. Many times, okay, cool. No surrender. Your style is really. I mean, dude, you're lugging around a wall. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. And flabbergasted Yager still plays professional hockey at 52, even though not full seasons. Yeah, he's still going. Dude is still a silver fox, too. Godly. I'll try and replay once a year, so that's rad. And it's uh, on Wii U, right?
Oh shit, there we go. I know this sounds super corny, but the water looks great. GameCube. Okay, thank you. And it's open. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. Wait a minute, don't... No. Don't tell me I have to go all... Come on. Oh, that's the way we came in? No? All right. Meow. Dude, the shoelace express in this game. Okay, no, okay, good cutscene. I was gonna say, Kali. There is tons of back and forth. Which I isn't abnormal in a game, you for do sure. That. This is my This is my This is my fortress! Whoa! guy turned into a wall blob like I'm sorry if I had to get turned into a monster or a demon if I got turned into a fucking wall blob I'd be pissed spending three break gauge levels will unleash an ultimate art and also provide one soul in addition defeating an enemy with a mystic art will increase item drop rates oh during a combo pre uh, press LT the fuck? Alright, so... <laughs> During a combo to activate a Mystic Art. Oh boy! Okay, there it is. Once you've learned Mystic Arts can be used to devastate foes by holding LT during a combo with three or more BG. These arts ignore the combo limit and are useful in extending combos once you have reached the maximum. They also grant a soul upon use. Defeating a foe with a Mystic Art greatly increases equipment drop rates. No. Bro, we've got an S craft now. Let's fucking rock. Demon right again. Ah, I call this an improvement. The compass. Yeah. Alright, so hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this shit figured out in a hurry. All right, so evidently I'm not doing something right. Oh, because I haven't sta- Oh, I'm dumb, that's why. Because I have to stack up three. Uh, okay. Bro, I'm just gonna run. Alright, so I fucked it up. How do you gain souls, right? Because you need three? Or no, you get a soul from doing that? I don't know. I probably could have gotten a really cool weapon, but I screwed it up. Dark Fantasy Realms with Shaken Fam. 
The docks are swarming with demons. Dog Gladiator, what's the good, dude? will be overrun. Where's Kirito? Dog Sao. Right. It's just good you don't fun. Long. It's great. Eisen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? Kirito and Asuna. Kind that of keep like them much... safe. Uh, but what about you know, us? Uh, it's we'll it's a real great ship. As it goes past. <gasps> Is there another option? Eisen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the Eifried Way. All right. Oh shit. Anime cutscene. It's coming at full speed. Let's get a move on then. Rad. Gotta go get it, kid. It's a dicey play, though. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance? Super PTSD. Don't scare me like that. I'm sorry. Yes! Nailed it! <laughs> You're lucky mommy lives around. <laughs> Let's go. That was a good moment. Oh, Gremlin, absolutely. I sure do. I just want to know how, like, I, you know, because I screwed it up, obviously. <clears throat> Arts learned, perfect mayhem, sounds neat. Mercury Satchel, mm, some mastery, Sears, Glacite, Glassite, I don't know. Provides the ability to trigger a random skill that increases the amount of BG. All right. Filling this gauge allows characters to unleash their hidden potential and perform mystic arts. Okay, so that's that's their S-Craft. Character that has learned a mystic art can perform it by holding LT with three or more BG during a combo. This can extend a combo past this. Okay, so I understand I needed to have three BG, which is that, you know, number, number circle thing there. Performing break souls is the best method of restoring BG. And how, like, how do I perform a break souls again? Arts gain through a... Uh, arts gain through repeated use. The number of stars of the art influences the efficiency of title skills. Also, the amount of BG a character receives at the beginning of combat is directly proportional to the total number of stars between all of the character's arts. The one, the uh, like, and I appreciate them explaining all of these things. The one, like, the one minor ding I'll give to this playthrough so far, they just throw, like, an encyclopedia at you like, and again, like, I'm thankful they don't just, like, kind of throw you to the birds. You know what I'm saying? Or throw you to the wolves, rather. Birds probably wouldn't hurt all that bad unless they're vultures. You get what I'm trying to say. But it's like, holy shit, man. It is like, all right, I'm 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 trying to, like, get it locked in, but it's wowzers. Big claw thing is break soul. So I have to use that three times. <sighs> Nicely done. Yeah, torn Can to I shreds by ducks. Can I for her <laughs> Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun, and everything worked out, right? I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. 
give it. I need to set a course. Oh, okay, Gremlin. Thank you. <sighs> Fine. You read it for me then. So, like, there's a good chance yeah. that just like a trash mob, you're not going to be able well, to listen, pop off kid, an S-Craft. Give me one false reading and your shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Um, what's Luffy said? <laughs> it's a name. Very your likely. Name. Okay, cool. My... My name? Luffy said. It's a fine name. Well, it's no Mogilu. That's so weird though, dude. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Luffy said. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logress. How does that not just trigger Velvet every single time? Now this is refreshing. Sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Boy. Yes, I'm glad. This won't be a problem, docking the pirate ship here. So, how were the Northern Seas, Aizen? Guess not. Helavis and Vortigern are in ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. The island prison overseen by the exorcists, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logres. Lots of watchful eyes about. Ooh, Phil, you win I some, see. you lose some. So they exchange information for mooring. Information... for mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Eisen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I escaped from there. Gremlin, let's go, I dude! Did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logres. I've never been there, though. And Velvet, your business is with a man in the capital, right? Looks like we're all headed to the same place. I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. <laughs> Eisen's casually like, yeah, we just ruined trade and commerce and wrecked the economy. No biggie. <clears throat> no big deal. It's fine. It's totally fine. By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. Ah, yes, our good friend, Benwick. Yeah, Dark Fantasy Realms, big fan. I know you said Aizen's your favorite. I just, I haven't gotten to know him enough for me to really, like, latch on. The, like, the one that I have kind of somewhat attached myself to is Roku. For sure. Shambaloon? What? Slash beat? What the hell is this? Here I come. The fuck am I doing, dude? Ah! What is happening? 
C plus, that's what I graduated high school with. Go me, go. Training dummy mini games. Okay, that's pretty legit. Water Norman swimsuit. Oh, so it's just still all for cosmetics. Thank you. All right, well now, I mean, I guess at least I have to look, right? Yo! What the fuck is that, dude? How is that a swimsuit? You're gonna get waterlogged and drown. For sure. Good gravy. That's ridiculous. What the fuck is that, dude? It's nightmare fuel. Good lord. I can't, bro. Holy shit. I can't with that, man. It, no. I just, I can't. Hat style, ugh. It's a Norman suit? Whatever it is, it is all kinds of wonky looking. How are you, Kira? Well, actually, hold on, let's go. Yeah, we want to go visit shops first, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hat style makes Lafisa look like Draco Malfoy. All right, we can sleep it off. Thanks for the do re mi. Buy a bunch of stuff, maybe. What do I need? Coarse tempering powder. Let's get homeboy's magic up there a bit more, eh? Um, okay, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Tired, but okay, spent the last four days cleaning over at my kids? Golly. Great mama bear, though. Fire attack power plus 4%. I mean, we're gonna have to scoop it eventually, right? No. It's such a hit. Yucky. I'm still gonna buy him anyway. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna drop her HP, but we're gonna get more strong. So yeah, I just want everybody to get stronger and evidently more accurate. Sure. Hey, Aqualon. Certainly. Six days straight and only one day off tomorrow? Dude, I did that for 14 years. No exaggeration. The last company I worked for, six days a week. Unless I, you know, obviously I accrued vacation time, but six days a week. Six days a week, 14 years of it. Starting, starting in high school. Well, yeah, sophomore year, I guess I should say. Granted, like, until I graduated, I was still part-time, but uh, yeah, it would be like uh, I work on the weekends and then I work like a closing shift during during the week, which is yeah, sucked, man. All right, so we still have random skill, which is neat. Uh, no, it's not what I was looking for. Want to know the most important stat, or is that too back CD? I mean, you know me, I'm not usually the one to try and like min max or anything like that. I just I see green on strength and I go, that's good. That is neat. Hell yeah. More strong. Good. But Ethan, lay it on me, man. You can you can drop some knowledge. Bro to 215. Yeah. I'm doing that for sure. Almost maxed it. Okay. Well, we'll get that soonish.
Oh, because it's mastered. All right. Focus is the most important stat. Is focus that one there, the, the bullseye? So he's got great focus. Yep, okay. Now, what um, what does focus affect? Whether or not it's a dumb question, I'm still inclined to ask. Oh, that one's not maxed out yet. Focus effect, stunning, guard break, status ailment, odds, which leads to more souls, which leads to infinite combos and mystic arts. Okay, cool. Well, all right. Dumb questions are the most important answers. Yeah, for sure. Like, dude, where's my car? <laughs> How do you expect me to get home, chief? Um... Sure, let's enhance it make it enhanced why not why not you say waistcoat dose certainly If the enemies aren't even staggering when you attack, it means you have low focus. All right. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. Oh, no, I just bought these, right? derp a derp No, that drops his attack. Boo, I don't want that. Well, okay, then can I... Hold on, let's enhance him then. Can we enhance him? No, I can't. Calcite fragment. So I guess you gotta buy a bunch of those and then break them down. Well, I can buy one of them. I can buy one and break it down. And boss just called in and he's like, hey, you working? He's like, nope, at home. Your shift started 10 minutes ago. Yo. Hey, that happens. But the instant panic that sets in, you're like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. All right, I'm going to stop screwing around. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, loot though while we're here. Basically, Zestirian Bazuria made the focus stat OP busted to build. Okay. Right, because Hysteria takes place after this, right? It's a sequel. Or is it before? Had to move quick since my bus is leaving in five minutes. Yo, gotta go. Ego hanging out of your mouth. Nom, nom, nom. Came before, Crabs but are it's- amazing, right? Oh yeah. They're delicious, boiled or grilled. Even their innards are yummy. Before, but it's set like after. So many. That's all true. But what really makes them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them get away. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Huh, I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? Sure if can. If it does, we could make a killing by selling Dial tails. Would they be... tasty? No idea. Ugh, no way. Came out after, but is set many years in the future. Is there, like, some type of... reasoning behind that? So, like, it, it takes place in the same world. 
I, I gather. It's a prequel to this. Yes, okay. Are there are there any of the same characters? The stories are connected. Okay. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, so all right. He even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorized Midgand, only Eifried and his well, like, crew Well, what, what is the rhyme or reason behind that? Like, they must have already had only a serious fry, story, like, A-OK. -okay. No, like, all right, we already, got, we already got, we already know where we're going. The Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> but that'd be too boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. And that's why Ifri goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like him. All right. Eisen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Oh, let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the outer seas. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course. A map of the whole world? That's right. Eifried's pirates have many ambitions. One of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. In fact, the Von Eltias already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing. You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. Well, regardless, if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at <laughs> your service. And you can keep anything we find in our explorations. You'll be able to assign us new orders from any location by using a kind of messenger bird called a Sylph Jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure. Or maybe some rare food. Or brand new recipes. Mm. Or fishing. That's a Kidding, lot of not treasure in the game. you could find. Doesn't sound bad to me. It won't take much of our time. And besides, it could be interesting. You're right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. All right, then I'll tell you what you need to know. Expedition has been added to the menu. Try opening it now. You can now send your scout ship on voyages to explore the outer seas. You can initiate these expeditions via the dispatch command. Select the dispatch command. Next, choose an area to explore. The explorable areas are determined by your current exploration level, which is displayed in the upper right on the screen. So this, this is like uh, assignments in Star Rail, right? We're just sending them out. We're going to get some goodies, maybe. Now select the Layman's Sea and begin the voyage. Once you initiate a voyage, the screen will display the time remaining until your ship returns. Since this is your first time, the crew will break their back so that they can fly Scout home. Ship setting sail. Take a look at this. Voyage is complete. Now let's see the results. During each exploration, the ship with her uh, and her crew rather will face three battles. The number of victories will determine the items and XP received. In their explorations, the crew might also uncover special rewards like recipes, new areas, and treasures. Some treasure, uh, treasures may provide exploration skills that will make future voyages go more smoothly. When activated, these skills provide various benefits, such as increasing the amount of XP earned or the number of items found. Sure, do it again. So now we just wait for news. Who knows what we'll find? What's A up, Liz? How are you, buddy? Full of treasure, maybe? Underwater Opal ruins? as well with you Desert and... Desert islands? Yours? New shipping lanes, perhaps. 
Some fish would be enough for me. Especially if they sell well. My thoughts exactly! Tuna or Yellowtail or Sturgeon! Life is better? Good to hear. Love to hear it, bud. And so now we just wait, huh? Half an hour? Jesus. Whoa. Art attack plus five? Mm. I wonder if I can enhance it though. Oh, probably not. Um, like, are there things that I can just shit can? Material? Uh, no, not necessarily materials. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna cook. I probably won't. Give me monies then. Copper coin missing a fragment barely worth the metal it contains. So like shit like this. This is just garbaggio, right? I could just sell all this jazz. Silver should fetch a decent price. Okay, yeah. So all this stuff is just sell it, right? That's good. That'll help with Doray me. I think those are selling items. Okay, cool. Good. Take them. Yeah, here, have some dried fish. All right, so yeah, okay, so I see that. Oh, did I already? Oh, okay, there we go, consumables. because that brings that one stat up, so that's neat. Um, <laughs> I mean, bro, if I told you I had any idea what I was doing, I'd be lying. Sure, now we're gonna now we're gonna dismantle that stuff okay people are going like what are you doing I don't know what I'm doing so I'm just doing it <laughs> I'm just fucking doing it dude that's it that's all we're doing here we're just doing it Damage against stun foes plus 10%, 20% XP from defeating armored foes. Cool. Right on. Well, that's neat. Good for us. 
I'm gonna set myself one rule for this. Just keep one I haven't mastered. Yeah, and I know like that's obviously something I'll run into too, but. All right, so then do equipment. So drop the overall strength for a bit more of the, whatchamacallit, right? Yeah, because that's mastered anywho. Yeah, all right. All right, back down. <sighs> now, now it's in my head. But a significant boost. Focus, that's what it was, yeah. All right, so we got us some more focus, right? Oh, we gotta go this way, anywho. Sir, scouts have reported seeing a powerful demon. Its Me. danger level has been classified as code red. Understood. I'll notify the Abbey we have a code red demon in our midst. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Right. With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a code red demon? It's Mountain like Dew a most demon. wanted list for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around 10 such demons across the territories. Oh, they sound pretty tough. That would be putting it lightly. So are Suffice those like say, world mobs? Wouldn't want to face one unprepared. Then we'd best be prepared. Let's get going. While we're wasting time here, the Abbey is digging in. Demons designated as Code Red by the Abbey can be found roaming the territories. Code Red demons are exceptionally strong. It's recommended you only engage them when you're sufficiently prepared. Right on. All right, here we go. Uh, encounters and battles. If you initiate a battle by making contact with an enemy on the field from behind. Oh, good. So we can finally get back attacks. Uh... Contacting with two or more enemies at the same time while on the field will initiate a perilous encounter, which has the following effects. Enemy levels increase. Right. Okay. Uh, fleeing takes four times as long. Enemy reinforcements will join the battle. Enemies will attack more frequently. While these fights can be risky, they offer greater item drop rates and more grade. Very well. Cool. Onward to Logris. Wait. You're coming to... Basically, uh, but they're not like Xenoblade's trademark level 50 guy in the level 4 area. Okay, cool. Alright, give me some enemies. Let's go, let's, let's use this focus, huh? Cut up, Rick. Looks like you wanna die. I don't know if I could use it. Holy shit! If you want to live, I thought I could only like way. use that once. No, I just kept hammering on it. Okay, she whiz. At the beginning of each battle, each character regains an amount of BG based on the total number of stars gained through repeated art usage across all the characters' arts. This provides an incentive to use every art available by gaining proficiency with all of a character's arts. You can recover upwards of one BG every battle. That's another thing I gotta check now. Did I get a new new? Nope. What's happening, Ichi? How you doing, bro? I see you playing some Halo this weekend. How you doing, my guy? I guess we don't have any new new. Study and taking a break, right on, man. How's uh, how's things going in the school world? You can use the claw as long as you have three or more souls and you don't have the claw active. Okay, deleted it straight off my hard drive too. Why, bro? Have some chill. Have some chill. You change degree programs. Is that a good thing? Oh, we did it! All right. I think I figured it out. Somewhat. 
Yeah, fucking devour. Sorry to catch you down. Sky Children of the Light. I think so. I'm pretty confident I burnt out on tech stuff, man, but I changed it to business management in information technology. Right on, dude. Hey, you know what's best for you. And if that's what's best for you, man, then you know I got you. Always ready to fight. Oh, I wish I had power like that. Completed four courses and you were like, nah, not for me? Damn. Uh, to me, that just sounds like a lot. But like I said, dude, you know what's best for you. It's all that matters. You, I think you know what you want to do, and you'll do time. it. Oh, wait, he does one too? On his own? Yo, that's what's up, dude. Get him! Yeah! Feels good. Did you think you could escape me? Amazing! That felt good. Every character has mystic arts? Yeah, but uh, yeah, like I understand that. I just meant like he did it on his own. Like, good on you, computer. That was dope. Feels good. So it was like 40 credit units, they call it WGU, only like one out of 10 terms. It is a decent amount, but yeah. Hey, right on, man. Course was weird though. Hey, like I said, dog, whatever, whatever works for you. It's the most important part. Hopefully you find out what it is you want to do. You know, be able to like settle on something. Dude, combat just got even fucking better. I overdid it. Wowzers. Don't get over And I almost died. But we just did it. Did you think you could escape me? I mean, kind of, I guess. I don't know. Like crunching through a bag of chips? Yeah. But all about Tails Combat keeps getting better the more you progress. Dude, I wish. I really wish Zillia would have stuck, dude. Yeah, win some, lose some. Hello, Mr. Monkey. You'll be rushed on my blade. Killing flash, but I'm this close. I won't miss. Form zero. Dude, filthy, disgusting. Dude, this guy is all over the road. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Yeah, dude, pull it out. Zilly is super slow, then goes super fast. Yeah, it was more so like the combat wasn't the issue, I don't think. It was just the story. I I didn't know where the hell it was going, so I was like, I, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I was like, I don't know what's going on, but it's not grabbing me. And that's when I was just like, and I'm out. Oh, he's already got a void ring. Yeah, Eckerd for Zillia. And the Devour adventures are going spectacularly. Thank you.
Wait, oh, so she's already got this mastered, right? Got a lot of stuff mastered for her. Um... Right? I'm, I mean, we're going to need to do it for the random master skill. Oh, no. Um, sure, I guess. Damn. What a hit to his overall attack, though. I guess. I don't know. When I realized Ferry from Grand Blue was the same voice actor as Velvet, I Oh, really? She does have a couple zones worth of fights on everyone else. Okay. Yeah, Liz, so far, I'm enjoying it. It's just, it's just like anything new for me, as per usual. I get a little bit overwhelmed, and it's just like, all right, like, what... What is happening? There's so much going on. Still isn't mastered. That's okay. Fuego ring is already mastered, so we gotta dump that. Right? Gotta learn new stuff. Yeah, we already went down this road. I guess so. Whatever. <laughs> Beats the shit out of me, man. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sounds good. All right. Stu Consumer Collector. Yeah, there's a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. It's all right. I'll get there. Don't waste my time. No Another victory. Just melted. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. I'll get there. And then I'll just, I'll have to learn how to, like, get better with the souls, right? I don't think this is where we're supposed to be going. Oh, I was like, what? What is that? All right. Because I see a chest up there. On the old kitty chest. Here you go. Rosy cheeks. Come on. Liz, you excited for the draft next week? Philly, I know you are. But it, it hits a little bit different for us Patriots fans because it's like, dog. Wow. What's it gonna be? Those walls. <laughs> oh, what are we They're doing? So huge. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. 
Why the surprise, Laffy Set? You've been here before, right? I have. You gotta but see them trade down man, uselessly for a punter or something? Belichick's gone, no bro. It's not now. happening. I not see. this year. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed Although he would have had his friggin' rocks hard we'll soon lose such freedom for ourselves. that, what, like the Australian huh? rugby kicker or rugby player? Some, some kicker Soldiers pegged like a 66 yard or this something no like that in the wind. Of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorias. That's it. You're fighting the They were nothing. I can only imagine what he would trade that pick for and what he uh and we would have been mad. I hope they get a good QB. I mean, they're they're basically saying now that like Jaden Daniels is a lock for for Washington, more or less. And now there's all this mumbo jumbo coming out that, um, excuse me for a second, shell splitter. That's a new new. Um, that they're just so like in on JJ McCarthy, and I'm so not in on JJ McCarthy. Truth be told. Sure, we'll do that. I don't want Drake May either, though. That's a thing. Oh, There's no part of me that wants Drake May. I want Jaden Daniels or Buss. We're finished here. So who knows? If we get out of there with, you know, our our future QB, uh, a, a decent wide receiver, maybe another tight end, and a, uh, but most importantly, a left tackle. Yeah, right. Oh, do it. QB wide receiver left tackle are the needs. Bill kind of killed the roster, so they may have offensive. Uh, they have so many. Yeah, they definitely need a left tackle more than a wide receiver, but we also need a wide receiver. What will it take to make you go all out? For sure, but not to mention that once other teams draft and they go, all right, we know what we have and we know what, you know, like they'll start being more apt at trading pieces too. If you want to live, get out of my way. Oh, expedition. It's already been half an hour. Holy shit. What am I doing? Take a look at this. All right. Well, that sucked. We got some tuna and we got some sea monster this matter. This recipe looks real tasty. Scout ship setting sail. It's gonna be real weird if the Jets win the division next year. Just realized Wuthering Waves releases next week. What is that, Mers? I'm on. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, it's like Genshin? Okay. Come on, really? Another gotcha made by Kuro Games, who did Punishing Grey Raven. All right. 
Another one I have zero. I have no idea. Yeah, are you next week? Right. Wait, I can't run up the hill? You're shitting me. Alright. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Oh, Stellar Blade next week also? How was the demo for that? I know a bunch of buds played it, but you know, I didn't uh I didn't get my mitts on it. Don't waste my time. It was good right on. I hear the combat uh, felt pretty good to a lot. Good lord. Your style is really Alright, now battles are going way faster. Holy mackerel. You're fighting the reason. Get them all. If you want to live, get out of my Arcane! way. Arcane! This is the Monado's power. You, sir, I was singing your praise earlier. Tavern and Handsome, thank you very much again for that, dude. Uh, just like we had discussed. I, like, I just... I'm, I'm incredibly thankful that you thought of me. And it was very awkward for you to be like, pick something, and I'm making it. And I was like, this is weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? But thank you very much again. Youngblood psyched on his own Mondo. That's what he's calling the Monado, but it, uh... I don't think I can't. Yeah, I could probably hold it up. This is the. Uh, can we see it? Yeah, a little bit. The the Steam Deck holder. I'm on a short leash here because it's kind of fitted, but the color is dope, man. Big time, nice. I knew it was weird, but that's the point. But I appreciate it very, very much, man. Yeah, this is the Mondo's power for sure. How are you, dude? Yeah, and the added touch that your daughter drew a little picture. Adorable. Yeah, he calls it, he goes, uh, so there was two, two Monados in there. And he goes, Dada. He goes, can I have one? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I was like, of course you can. And he was like, what is it? I was like, it's the Monado. So then Mrs. Neo asked what it was. And he like, he interrupted me and goes, Mama, that's the Mondo. But he knew. I was like, yeah, bro, it's the Mondo. It's the goddamn Mondo. Fucking Catalina wine mixer. The Dorbs, though. That wasn't worth the effort. Yeah, thank you very much. He, he, uh... He himself, he put it on his dresser in his room. Right next to his sound machine. Vibe. And it just chills, and it's just good. Again, completely unexpected, and thank you very, very much for it, bro. It's dope, and my wife's like, do you want a 3D printer now? It's like, yep. Boy, do I. Boy, <laughs> boy, howdy. Sure do. But not now. I can't now. Oh, so we can't go back that way? She goes, what would you make with it? I go, what wouldn't I make with it? I go, I'll make us a new strainer. She goes, what do you mean a strainer? I was like, to make spaghetti in. 
She's like, why the fuck? Said, we got three of them. I'm like, doesn't matter. Gremlin! Hang on, bro. Inspect I have to go get my water in Just the other room. My bad. Natural. Your face is all stiff. I know. He's like, stop talking to me, kid. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh, um... Well? Your travel permit from the Abbey. Where is it? Look at this <laughs> ragtag group. Foolish girl. How many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. Magician? Verily, I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as Muggy Lou's Menagerie. Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. The dove Go trick. To... Huh? Oh. Uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. Y y you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. Act like a dove. She's like, bro, you're pushing it. Coo coo. <laughs> Cuckoo, kachoo, bro. Whoa. She's killing it. It's a very believable dove. Remember, Muggy Lou's menagerie manufactures mirth. That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Congress. Kachoo, hey, You can't advertise here. Move along. As you say. That was good. <laughs> Yo. Coo -coo. <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Mogulu. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Coo coo. <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze! Coo coo. Those doves were amazing. Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the capital's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the capital? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the capital. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Luffy's. Velvet? Sheesh. Speaking of cooking things, I printed a measuring cube that eliminates the need for any measuring cup? Get out. Like, so how big is it, Arcane? Grumpy, good evening, my friend. How are you? Yeah, he definitely said no promo. He's like, uh-uh. Not here. Not up in here. Sure. They've got all sorts of good new new. Um, now we just keep getting stuffs like crazy. Aphrodite sash or Aphrodite, whatever. I am about to finish Dragon Dogman two and then just veg. How's it been? Good playthrough. It's amazing. All sizes, one teaspoon up to one cup, bro. In one cube. It's pretty sick though, man. Dude, we have two sets of measuring cups, two like everything. Enjoyed it for what it is, but it's a rather flawed game. In like in what respect? Wait, so he has he mastered that one yet? Oh he did. Alright, cool. So switch it up for something new. 
I guess a uh, fire. No, he's already mastered that one. Next. Earthring, I suppose. One thing I hated about this game, new gear too soon, couldn't master something before getting something new. It's a little bigger since it has all the sizes, so it sits on a shelf in my kitchen. I'd say like four by four by four. All right. That's still sick though, man. Wonky design decisions. Okay. Does it play like um, Baldur's Gate or is it more... I don't know, like, not not click to move, I guess. I don't know, like, the right way to describe it. It's action, okay. Hey, Liz, have a great night, bud. Glad that life is treating you better. It was good to see you. Open world third person RPG, okay. Never mind, we'll go back to that. But these are already mastered for him. All right. Jesus, bro. Give him a void ring. Why not? Thanks for the support. Yo, Mers. Thank you for gifting that sub to the Joe Show, dude. You have to do that, man. Thank you very much for that. I think I'm doing all right. All right, hang on. Let me uh. Let me hit the head, grab the chug jug, and we'll be RB. Promise. Hey, Arcane, my bad dog. I didn't see that you were splitting. Thank you very, very much again, bro. And uh you and the the future misses to be and uh enjoy your sleeps, man. Thank you. And we'll uh, we'll catch up tomorrow, eh? Yeah.
Super duper handsome Dan. Killing some bosses in Elden Ring? GG's, bro. Oi! Hold on, we're getting back. We're just a boot there. <laughs> Water. Good. How are you, handsome face? All right. Where were we? <clears throat> Some fragments, cool. The Abbey's job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization is this, Abby? You're kidding me. How do you not even know that? The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests devoted to exorcising evil. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgand. Nowadays, its members are all called exorcists. I'm impressed. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? For a side branch, they don't really strike me as humble. Of course not. The High Priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. He's effectively retired. So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. Mm. That's not all. Kill the Pope! The Prince also gave Lord Artorius gotta take him out. authority over all military and government affairs during the crisis. Lord Artorius commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy to combat the Demon Blight. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgand Empire. The Abbey is its foundation, and its ray of hope. Well, okay, got it. The Abbey's a big deal. <laughs> it's like, all right, dude. Jeez, gush some more, would you? Open there is going to be a treasure chest. Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's the crown prince. The crown prince? What happened to the king? The king is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crisis. <laughs> this king sounds like quite the guy. Prince Percival is incredible, too. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius in the Abbey. As long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is bright. Ask anyone. <laughs> Got it. So all of Midgand is on Artorius' side. Yeah, Dan, I think we're doing good so far. Just learned to, uh, learned how to S-craft in battle. I know that's not what it's called, but just... It went from me calling everything a limit break to me now calling every, like, super move an S-craft. So we learned that. And I think I'm finally starting to get a bit more... Like, learn a bit more with, with the combat. So, pretty rad, dude. Somebody just stashed 800 bucks in a chest in like a little little corner of an alleyway. Like nobody's gonna take this. Yeah, you're right. More gear, even though we just got some gear. Foreign daggers, all right. Um, certainly. Oh yeah, because we already have a set of these, right? But these ones are different from the ones that we have. Oh, I'm such a... Okay. This will make things way easier now. I can just buy them all at once. Big bulk purchase. We're going to Costco, friends. Um...
Oh, there's a sale. Oh, what? Because it's... Oh, because we have a level two. Oh. Hmm, 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 hmm. Damn. Okay, so wait a minute. I can dismantle all these amber blades. Because all mastered, so that's fine. All mastered, gonzo. All these amber daggers mastered, good. Mastered the art of plain paper. Hey, Rhino, how are you, man? Just tested how many push-ups I can do. I did 38 of them? Yo, GG's. I, uh, not to sound like a Chad, but last night while I was watching TV, I was just doing curls. I was like, okay, instead of just sitting here fucking around on my phone watching TV, I just started, like, doing, like, little workouts. So good for you, man. I don't know if I could do 30. I, dude, honestly, I doubt I can do 38. Fucking eh? That's dope, though, man. Good for you. I take I take great pride in the fact that I ride the bike. Like that's it. I ride the bike 20 25 minutes straight and I'm good. Nah, good job for you, Rhino, but thanks, man. Now I'm kind of curious. Yeah, we're just going to break down all the stuff that we've we've mastered. Grumpy, you could do two. I could ride a bike for an hour, maybe more. The only reason, like, I feel like if I was riding a bike, like, around, I could ride for an hour. But on the stationary bike, not TMI, but we're going to go TMI. All right, ready for this one? I was having this issue. When I was riding the bike for 30 minutes, my, uh, was, was starting to go numb. Like twig and berries all right it was like it like legit numb and evidently uh the doctor says that you know dudes have um uh, like a, a blood vessel or you know a muscle and you know if you sit on it for too long like if you have a domed seat instead of one that's got like a groove to you know let it do its thing you can cut off circulation. You can really, like, legitimately do damage to your, to your, to your gold member. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I cut it back, and I got a new, I got a new seat for the bike. But that, that was scary. I was like, this is, this is not good. Like, zero part of this is good. Oh, I only have one. Oh, so I would need two for that. Okay. I'm thinking about doing the marathon walk with, with, uh, with Mrs. Neo next year. We do the, ex it's, they do the exact marathon walk. Like, so the Boston Marathon got run today. They do the exact same start point, same finish point. I've, I've been thinking about it. I feel like I could walk for a while. <laughs> I walk for a mile at like, for a while, not a mile. I walk for a while. Um, I don't know if any of that's, no, cause I've already done this one. So let's boost that. Sure. Enhance it for the kid. Okay. 
walk a long time if I could, but you know, Crib, I get you, man. Yeah, for sure. So I need more, more of those there fragments, huh? So he's got the, okay, so these. So then I wonder if instead, like if these are mastered, Oh, hot damn. So we'll do those. Okay. And what was that new? Oh, well, no, because we still haven't mastered it yet. I live in Southern Illinois. I walk, jog around the park today. It was kind of warm. Dude, it hit 72 here in New Hampshire. It was nice. Getting out of work felt extra good. <laughs> extra, extra good. But well, she's already mastered that one, dude. So we gotta. <clears throat> oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 sorry, that's a, no, I don't want to get rid of that stuff. Silky Touch Garment. All right. Oh, because I don't have enough money. Durr. Because he has these on, so now do I...
Alright. Dude, the crew came back already. Take a look at this. Did we do better? No, we did not. Alright, do it again. Scout ships. Alright. I want to go down. Hey, Gremlin, thanks very much, man. Hope you have yourself a good Tuesday. Get some good sleeps, too, dude. Um, I have to go up the stairs? Yeah, probably. Show me our papers, young lady. Listen to those cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects, may I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious oh! day. The ceremony started. It will be impossible to slip in now. After the opening, ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon light. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not you be lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now and would be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Colbrand! Out. None here, I trust, are unfamiliar with Artorius' noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachim. But he's a murderer! He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. But you killed him. You took everything that I loved. So raise your voices in praise to Artorius' devoted work. To the savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him. Our Shepherd! Shepherd Artorius! 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 Gonna snap! Oh damn, anime cutscene again? Even though the world was filled with suffering, I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean Innominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory. You're the one who murdered. Fool, they'll see us. You're the one who killed La 
officer. What? The Shepherd Artorius. Some serious imagery. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No. I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius. Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! Like, is she May ever gonna be in our party, or is she just gonna tormented. be like the comedic relief tag-along character? If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into Asking hiding. that out loud, you don't have to Let's confirm. This slowly. Sorry. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. That's a plan, no, for sure. Planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild, a tavern in the city run by an old man called Baskerville. Serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist. <laughs> oh, the kiddo's hungry! Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? Someone's got a grumbly in their tumbly. My stomach made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. Hey, Rune, how are you, man? Happy Monday, bud. What'll it be? Some food for the boy. Mabo curry is our specialty. It takes a week to stew properly. Mabo curry? Some of that, then. Say... Do you know a man named Baskerville? I heard we might find him here. That old man? A scoundrel and criminal who went against the rules of the Abbey. They executed him long ago. Oh. Last month was terrible, but I'm healthy again now? Well, that's good to hear, man. Sorry that last month sucked. Velvet, this mob of curry Hey, Murs, thanks, man. Have a great night, bud. Well, it's day for you. Hopefully you get some sleep, dude. You get along so well. Is he your brother? No. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother was murdered before your eyes. How do you know that? The shadows watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's Holy arrest? Holy shit. That's right. Just like how Eifried's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. So you're the contact? Rune, what's cardio version? What may I help you with? I want to know what Artorius is planning. Information such as that? It won't come cheap. That lady with a kill shot. I have shot. here a list of jobs. Not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them. And I'll tell you what you want to know. I want you to destroy goods in red crates stored at a warehouse in Port Zexen. Can I just take them all now? Take this with you as documentation. It's fake, but it's a good fake. It'll hold up to inspection. It's registered to Mogulu's Menagerie. Oh, was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? <laughs> I can see you're a group to be reckoned with. Report back here once you're finished. However, be aware that should you fail... Then this conversation never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. 
I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night, free of charge. Forget about work until the morning comes. Electric shock delivered directly to the heart to put it back in correct sinus rhythm. When it's fall oh, so it's kind of like a uh, right. like a pacemaker. You're sort missing of? Captain Ifried. Damn, dude, the that's captain nuts. has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Thanks. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. And that Legate Melchior is connected to the captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. Sounds like you've got problems of your own. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? I could ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Me? I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. As ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? Hmm. <laughs> Dude, they got a great rapport. Mm. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Exactly. I admire Velvet's courage. Squaring off against the whole world on her own. If you can accomplish that, it takes strength. Real strength. And I'm curious where it comes from. So you're doing it for yourself after all? Is that so wrong? <sighs> no. I'm the same. I need allies on my side the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the Abbey. But anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of Eifried's pirates has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. Aha. Uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Aye. That man flies his fool flag proudly. Just browing out over drinks. The Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. I wonder... Hmm... Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroine scar this broken world of ours? I've got a traitor to find, yeah, but in the Dan, meantime, same here. this should be a it good was a nice show. touch. I mean, I do still have one, but it's been out of juice and useless for a decade. Dude, that's scary, Rune. What can they do to... Would they have to, like, give you a new one? Can they give you a new one? Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? 
Who knows? That's hardly our concern. Okay. And so, destroy the red crates at the warehouse uh, at the port. All right, port was back this way. face for such a hard oh, woman shit. she knew about me and our cover she's got ears everywhere and that's not all she called the papers fake but they're not so she's got spies working on the inside too I heard that her predecessor Baskerville was a monument against authority to think he was executed they've lost their leader but remain unconquered not an organization to trifle with that's how they have to be to take on the Abbey We'd better succeed on our missions, and not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man of taste. That place always has the best. Uh, Still hungry! You better work hard, too, if you want more Mabo curry. Victoria! I will! What's happening, brother man? How are you? Uh... No. Bro, I'd be lying if I said I had any idea where I was going. No. That's the way to a man's heart is good food and drink. Musashi, it's true. Doing all right, just working on some rebirth. Is there you treating us well this evening? Very much so. Greetings, Magilu's Menagerie. Hello. You've come to exactly the right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a code red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <sighs> and let me guess, that's where the blood wings come in. Exactly. There are blood wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these code red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. All right, let's no try sense and find in one. drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so here, take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, Things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those Code Red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these Code Red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those Blood Wings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. You can use a uh, enough bottle by pressing LT while you're in a town or field. Using an enough bottle will teleport you directly to specified locations. Let me use one. Fuck yes. All right. So now these red demons, they'll just be out and about. Yeah. All right. After 210 hours of rebirth, I finally platinumed platinumed everything in all achievements possible god damn that's some shit man ggs bro
Aside from grinding for the platinum, was it like, was it good? Did that for Symphonia and Vesperia? Golly. Dude, the hundred plus hours we put in for P5R and I didn't even platinum it. I was like, dog, please no. No more. Yeah, you see a big red dot on them. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like trails in that respect then. right on now is that just like i just have to ask because i just don't have that bug in me is it because like something you know it gives you that good brain juice from from getting it i hope we get p6 next year man what do you think the theme will be maybe i can finally get back to finishing cold steel 4 and reverie those have been neglected wow Oh, I made my achievement immortal. I put my save file on a brand new memory card and sealed it shut, drilled the hole in the side to make it into a pendant. Right on. Yeah, the good brain juice. All I know is that the color theme will be green. Yeah, I feel like Ethan was saying that too. Cause there was like some plaint, uh, some plaint, some paint splatter or something. You better be ready. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. If you are okay with me saying my favorite part of why I'm loving these replaythroughs, like of uh, this, like of uh, Berseria, Musashi, just so long as it's not like anything I haven't experienced, like just avoid spoilers, obviously. Please, respectfully, obviously. Wow, look at this area. Looks primed for fishing, but no. Think I've been playing more Blitzball than 10? Blitzball bugged the hell out of me. Yeah, Musashi, like, respectfully, it's... I don't want to know. I don't want spoilers, so... Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Would love for you to share why you're enjoying the replays, but not at the cost of... Um, me getting spoiled on something. Sorry to, to, to be selfish in that respect. Oh, that's a... I'll end this quickly. Next. Come on, really? I know when the streamer is baiting me to spoil. If you're referring to me, I'm not baiting you at all, dude. You asked if you could tell me what your favorite part of the replay was, and I said, yeah, you can share so long as it's not a spoiler. <laughs> I'm not Looks trying like to fucking bait die. you into anything, bro. <laughs> You 
My favorite part of this game is Velvet's combat animations. I love her combat style. I love the combat. It's great. All good, though. It's understandably hard to talk about certain games at this time. Yeah, I mean, if it's something that, like, I, like I'm currently playing selfishly, like, yeah, obviously, like, that's, that's pretty much, like, the MO for any first playthrough, at least here on the channel, is, like, nah, no spoilers, dog. What's up, Argyle? This is Tales of Berseria. Here I, come. I honestly, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around if you were being serious or not about me baiting you. Like, huh? I would never, ever openly ask somebody to spoil a playthrough. <laughs> like so, so I don't know if you were just joking or not. Okay, you were that joking. All right. Worth the effort. It was just really rattling around in my brain. I was like, bro. I was like, what? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Absolutely, positively. Yes, please spoil everything for me. <laughs> All right, let's get. No, wait. Hold on. I gotta get. Only thing that annoyed me in this game is all, all, almost nonstop devour, but after a while I tuned it out. The only thing I keep hearing like a, a ding. I don't know what it's from in combat. You're doing a combo and it's like ting, ting. Shit, is this where we were or is this where we're supposed to be? No. I don't know. Okay, that's me getting souls. Gotcha. Take a look at this. Bro, we always go one for three. No bueno. Scout ship setting sail. Those things allow you to do more combo extensions, right? Yeah, slowly, slowly but surely getting to know more about the uh the, the combat system for sure. I think it's when you miss a defense and you take a hit, you could have blocked, it's a soul gauge increase, one or the other. Okay. Right, so yeah, this is where we wanted to be back to, right? Wait a minute, what's that shit up there? Hang on. Oh, did I really kill one? I killed one of the red beasts? I didn't see it on the map. Oh! Oh shit, that was like the first first one. Wow, all right. Huh. Yeah, that was from like a hot minute ago. No shit. All right, cool. That's pretty neat. But now we gotta find wherever this friggin' Where's the warehouse for me to go and mess stuff up? You ran into it on the way to the... the yes, yeah. Gone. Yeah, Let's it was exactly in. it. Then can the crew I guess I just job. didn't know that they were gonna still honor it or like give us credit for it. Yeah, destroy the red crates at the warehouse in Port Zexon. So I just need to find where the crates are. Unless I ran past him. Here they are. Red crates. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgand Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Luffy said. Okay. Maybe you guys want to get out of there before you torch the building? 
We're done here. Let's go. Please tell me we get to fast travel back. I don't wanna fucking run all the way back. That storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorias oh. as soon as possible. <gasps> it's you! Oh hey, the crybaby. <laughs> oh hey. Eleanor Hume, Exorcist Praetor. Oh, all right. Get away this time. You really want to fight, don't you? No mercy. Wounds I won't heal. Filthy. <laughs> wow, dude! Like, Jesus Christ, man! Was getting shredded, bro! No! You set the storehouse ablaze? The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built? Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malakim up her sleeves. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor! Come <laughs> face me now, demon! He's adorable. He is? What is that? Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last. That bad, bad voice! Fu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Not her! No! Bruh, it's Mona. What are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. <laughs> Madam Exorcist, what happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Yes, madam. Tell yeah, me, we are the do bad you know guys? what was being kept in that warehouse? Church stuff. Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine provided by High Priest Gideon to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church. Why would anybody destroy it? Church bad. Hot damn. Unlocks level two random skills. All right. Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. <laughs> Misfortune in English. Well, at least now I know where to find him. That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Very Let's go well. back and report our success. Dude, no fast travel. Port Zexan South entrance. No, okay, so we can go back. We only have one more. All right, I suppose. Yeah, just respond with, why did you do this? You just go church bad. Now we're back in the town. I 
Remembering where to go is not my forte. Does, so, like, does it look considerably different, Bruin? Still just that one. Oh, I was like, who do I talk to? Where is she? Trouble at the docks, was there? Well, so long as the job was done. Just better fidelity in portraits. Right, so I know we already covered this earlier, but Vesperia came out before this, but it is set after the events of this in the future. See, because this came out in 2016, right? Zysteria, right. Sorry, sorry, my bad. All the Sterias, I'm getting all confused. Fun to bring back a scholar named Mendy who disappeared along Gallas Lake Road. Good luck. Can I just take on both? A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities, but our job isn't to ask questions. All right. Bro, why can't I just fast travel? Is this even the right way or should I be going the other way? I don't know. No, so this is not the right way. I don't remember. Is there like a world map I can look at? Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo Curry. Huh? <laughs> oh. Just torturing the kid. Come on, bro. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry that Fast much, travel huh? from the future. I must. I know, good. right? I have to have like the right and bottle of hooch to fast travel in this. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot. Some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks. I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil candied strips sweet of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar, right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes. Sounds good. Uh, There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. Yeah, we're all family and he's just our younger sibling, you know? 
All right, so that's not the right way, I don't think. Do I go, like... And yeah, because I don't know... I don't have a, like, a world map to look at. Good stuff. Area map is X. Holy hell. Groundbreaking. Kira, thank you so very much. All right, so I guess I am going the kind of right way. It's been there the whole time. Such an odd button. Ah, uh, so no, I don't gotta go that way. World map is Y on that screen too. Oh, shit. Right on. Thank you, everybody. Somebody heal me, please. Oh, shit. It was a close one. Gee whiz. But I am the victor. Not a great grade at all. Wow, got a bunch of items though. Holy shit. Alright, so I had to go around this way. Yeah, alright, cool. <laughs> Absolutely dunked on. I mean, it's going to drop everything, but we're going to get, I don't know, some mastered skills, I suppose. Eh, whatever. Master some skills. But the random skill doesn't stay on, right? That, just the mastered skills. Okay. <clears throat> sure, whatever, I guess.
Master of the round one knockout. All right. Let's do it. I knew there was a map, but I didn't know if it could count as a spoiler. Oh, no, 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 Rune, that, that would have been fine. I know that they probably told us this, like, night one. I just honestly don't remember, because I, I, I just wasn't using it. All right, so I got to rip up a chocobo. All right. Hey. That noisy demon looks pretty strong. Let's go get him. Think it might be one of those code red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I do. I don't see it as a waste of time. Look, the Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. Navasa, what's shaking, brother? How are you? Lady Teresa and the Leggets could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, right? <sighs> I see where you're going with this. The Abbey is strong, both in its individual members and as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right. I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. King Pain. I don't want us to bite off more <laughs> than we can up, chew. Dude? That goes Shame without on saying. You. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. I'm good, man. How's uh, how's things on your end? How was your weekend? So do I get... Oh, yeah, I got to probably go take the waterfall down, huh? Oh, that's right, because every time I use the mystical claw, I lose health. If you want to live, get out of my way. Lots of goodies. All right, so... No, how do I? Oh, would I have to go like out, down, and around? All right. I mean, wanna, I want to go pick a fight, so. I'm gonna backtrack, I guess. Weekend was poo. Thursday was 14 hours of work. Friday was 16. Saturday was packed with prior commitments. Sunday was recovery. All the recovery work the life killer <laughs> all right so hold on let me see Fuck yeah! <laughs> Yo, that one caught me off guard crimson what's happening dude thank you very much for the raid man how are you appreciate it how was your stream how we doing big guy does look kind of slow yo man you can probably end this real fast though scarlet next is still treating you well i hope uh, the song kind of has a like never ending story motif. Oh, yeah, we found him. Can I preemptive him? Oh, shit. Are we ready for this? Oh, 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 oh. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Oh, 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 oh yeah, out. dude. Oh. Yeah! Oh, 
All my power. See you Maybe fucking later. It. Oh, dude, got a great grade. 14? Let's go. Hell yeah, that felt good, man. That was a good feeling one. Started Final Fantasy 3 and 14 recently. Hell yeah. Scarlet Nexus is still super dope. Awesome. What, uh, what class are you playing in 14? Dude, that battle felt good. That thing was pretty strong. You just wanted something good to train on. I'm not in it just for myself. If I get stronger, I'll be more helpful in your battles. This counts towards the repayment of my debt. But you don't deny at least part of it was for yourself. Of course not. Every true Gladiator for now, do you have so uh, long-term ambitions it like a class that you want to play? Ask, but what debt exactly are you repaying, Rokuro? My sword is my life. When I was separated from it, Velvet told me where to find it. Also, she broke me free from a 500-year-long prison sentence. You say that like it's an afterthought. <laughs> Pretty dope. And that's why I can't fully trust you. I don't follow. Us Rangetsu men are renowned for our sense of duty and commitment. Actually, now that you mention it, Rangetsu's a pretty unusual last name. I heard your family specializes in unconventional swords and fighting styles. That's true. Our ancestor was a swordsman from way off in another country who came to this land a long time ago. A foreign swordsman, huh? I guess that explains why your swords and techniques stand out so much. He had quite a hard time getting by in this unusual land until he was taken in by an aristocratic family. Ever since, the Rangetsu clan has accepted the rule of their benefactors and has served them in repayment of their debt. Served them as bodyguards? Bodyguards, assassins, Spies, body doubles, whatever the order, your family will carry it through. Always return that which you've borrowed, even if you must repay it with your life. That was our ancestors' creed. In truth, four of my five older brothers are dead. You have to admit, we take our sense of duty seriously. Yeah. All Says right, it right next it. to Lafayette. You and your like, family are all tied uh, to yes, your sir. sense of honor. That seems to be the case. We can count on him, as long as he's on our side, at least. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Yo, Roku's the GOAT. Dark Knight is one because it's my favorite class. Dark Knight's a blast. Ton of fun. Great story associated with the job class, too. I hope you enjoy it, dude. So, all right, hang on. There was other things. So... Are these things just active all the time? Like, is that how these things work? Yo, GG's, Phil. Lapisette kind of reminds me of Cecile from Symphonia. All right. No, it's equipment? Oh, really? Those are always active. Okay, custom adds to equips. Okay. All right, so they're always on. Like jewelry on the equipment. Okay, but it's always active, no matter like what I have equipped. I would kind of wondered that. I'd seen a couple of the things flash on the screen. I was like, where the hell are they? I was kind of hoping it wasn't one of those items that have just been sitting there and it could have just made myself stronger. The old want to get away moment.
I think I think Dan already covered it. It was um these the potentites, potenties, potent, potentite, potentits. Nah, it ain't tits. Potentites, whatever the hell it is. These things. <laughs> Musashi goes, nah, bro, you got it. Those are tits. Neato. Hubba hubba. Big old monkey. I wish I had power like that. Yeah, you wish you did, son. Oh, does the ship in? Did we suck Take a again? Look at this. Jesus, man. Oh, we got level two. I feel like we got more XP by losing all three than we did by going one for three. Scout yes. ship setting. Keep. Keep doing it, friends. There you go. If you want to live, get out of my way. I believe him. Damn, yeah, they legit just like throw gear at you. Lots. Um. I want that Void Ring 3 from the kid. Oh, but I already have that one mastered anywho. All right, something that I don't have mastered. This one. Here we go. Make me choose what is good to have on it. Yeah. In the whole mastering things, it's, yeah. Get a little, little overwhelmed. Homie's got every pair of boots mastered? Golly. All right. You'll be rushed on my blade. Shit, swing and a miss. You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Imagine you show up for a nice supper together and she's just like, hope you don't mind my massive demon hand. It's like, no, why would I mind? Doesn't bother me at all, matter of factly. Damn them foreign daggers, though. Hmm. That extra focus. Oh, but he's already got a mastered. For real? I thought we just got new ones. Am I freaking crazy? I probably am.
I mean, we're getting there, I suppose. Oh, back in this area? Yeah? Mm, how the hell do I get over there? My... Do I have to get at it from a different way? Maybe? I feel like this is the way they told me to go. Or do I go down there and up there? No, that's Gala's Lake Road, so... I mean, that's... Alright. No, okay, but you know what? Here, no, because it's just about midnight anywho. So yeah, no, we'll wrap, we'll wrap up here and then I'll get lost again tomorrow. We'll be fine. We'll be a-okay. Gala's Lake Road, that's where we're at. That's where we're gonna find whoever it is we're searching for and that's where they are. Evidently, so... But a great start to the week, fam. Thank you very, 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 very much. Yeah, we're gonna get lost again tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it, almost. Please help me, I am lost. And I need a grown-up. But let's uh, let's see who's on that we can raid. Do, 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 do. Never-ending story. Ghost, trails from zero. Perfect. Yeah, man, let's go see SMC Ghost. His, uh, I know he's doing his first playthrough of Trails from Zero, and if he's doing it the way he's done other Trails entries that he's played for the first time, him and his friends will all collectively, like, voice it. A lot, like, very similar to, like, what Feb has been doing with Fire Emblem, so. It's, uh, it should be a good time. Um, nope, let me just make sure. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, he's boogieing down. Yes, and that's exactly what he's doing. Perfect. Right on. So, yeah, man. Let's go see Ghost. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your morning, your afternoon, your evening. Have a great start to your Tuesday. Enjoy your Tuesday currently. And uh, I love you guys, man. Thank you very much. Always. I love being here, you know, getting to do this with you guys. So, enjoy your evenings. Stay excellent, you guys. I love you. Be good.